Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another Road to 120 Slayer episode here. Coming up on episode number 11, we are kicking this one off with Adamant Dragons, who kind of suck to kill, to be honest. They don't have the greatest of loot, and, uh, you know, they're just kind of slow. Uh, but unfortunately, I do still need their soul, so I will be killing them when I get the chance. Currently 109 Slayer in this video, working our way towards 110, the technical halfway point of the level ups but nowhere near the halfway point of the XP. We are going to be heading over now to Morvron for our next assignment and he gives us Tormented Demons which are actually uh, in my opinion pretty fun to kill uh, just because the way you're switching weapons so often and just like it's a bit like of a different strategy of killing them than like any other monster because of the way they have prayers. Uh, so here I am at them, uh, and it, like I said, it is quite fun to kill them. Um, not sure if I'm doing it like the the optimal strategies, but I do enjoy the this uh, task, and they're kind of like a fun little mini boss type deal. Uh, so it is pretty fun. As you can actually see in my inventory, I did manage to get a pair of dragon limbs, which is pretty cool. I think they're like six mil, maybe something like that. Uh, they're not too rare from these things, but I did only have like 50 or so, so it was nice to get that as a nice little drop to add to our tab uh, for Slayer, but um, I already do have the soul for these guys, so uh, there was no concern on getting that from here. Uh, pretty much was just doing them for fun in the end, because unfortunately they're not really that great XP. Like, they give pretty low XP for how you know, involved they are to kill. Only 1.1k XP as you saw there, but we have just completed that task now, and those dragon limbs look nice in the inventory. Uh, but their regular loot is pretty trash, like I don't really pick up any of it, uh, to be honest. But a lot of these clips at the beginning of the video are post-commentary, just because this was when I was not feeling well. But at the end of the video, we have a lot of live commentary clips, so you guys can look forward to those. But yeah, we're going to head on over to the good old Morvron, my main man here, to get a new assignment. And he gives us Eretz versus Soul Devourers. And um, I actually decided to go for the Soul Devourers here because, I don't know, I just really don't like killing Eretz, to be honest. They take a, quite a long time, and they're really not the best XP task in the end. Uh, they're good for, like, your combat and invention, I'm pretty sure, but I'm really after the Slayer XP at this point. So I just went for the Soul Devourers, and... Not that they're like the best Slayer XP in the world, but they are pretty fast to kill, which is something I like about them. And as you can see here, I actually managed to get the Feline Ox Soul finally, after doing quite a few of these tasks with uh, on the Feline Ox. So it's nice to have that. So I have that soul, and then the soul of the one that's lower leveled than them, I'm not sure. But I don't remember what that one was called, but I think it's Salawa Ox. Uh, I also got two elite clues, which is pretty good, and uh, one key to the crossing. So, uh, pretty bad luck on the keys, to be honest. You usually get more than those than you get elite clues. But, yeah, next up we actually get Dagonoths. So, I am going to be doing some Dagonoth Kings for that. But, before we head over to that, uh, as you can see, I'm 2.2 mil off of 110 Slayer. I actually decided to head over to the... Uh, Slayer Dungeon uh, in Menaphos and put some all my souls into the chest. I'm currently at 25 So I'm going to be putting in the Aviancy soul from the first one uh, And these all give some pretty good XP and rep. Uh, the Living Wyvern soul, the Elf soul Then next up we have the Black Dragon soul. I did have quite a few stock up in my bank. The Mutated Jadinko Guard soul uh, And I unlock a new mural at that point for 30 souls in my codex the Eret Soul, Rune Dragon Soul, Desert Strike Worm Soul, and lastly, the one I just got, the Feline Ock. So that was pretty cool to add all those in, and we're up to 34 out of 151 collected. Obviously, I haven't really gone for any of like the easy ones to get that are super low-level monsters like cows and crap. So a lot of my souls are on, uh, on the higher end of levels of monsters, so that's actually a pretty decent amount I have going here, I, I feel. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, hopefully we can get a lot more of these filled out before the end of the road, of course. But yeah, we are now here at the DKs to finish up my task of the Dagonauts. And uh, I'm, I still do need the, uh, the pets here for the collection, so I don't mind doing them. And luckily enough, I managed to pick up a Dragon Hatchet on the final kill of the task, which was pretty funny. 
Uh, I think I've got like over 10 of these now in the bank at this point considering the fact that uh, I've killed like over a thousand of the DKs but definitely are gonna need, I'm going to need to kill quite a few more of those for the pets in the future so I'm not too worried about it at all. Next up we managed to pick up 236 Ice Strike Worms which is a lot and I do still need their soul and their decent tasks so I'm going to head on over to them for some live commentary. Alright guys, so we are about to finish up Ice Strike Worms here. Uh, it's a pretty good task. I did have a lot of them, so it took a little bit of time, but unfortunately I have not managed to get their soul at all, which kind of sucks from having so many, but I'm not too mad about it since I have two of the other ice, uh, Strike Worm souls already. Uh, they're just annoying because you can only get them on task, of course, because um, you can't kill them off task, but yep, didn't manage to get it in here at the end, but task is completed, and you do have to wear your uh, Tokar Call or Fire Cape while you're doing these just because that's like the way they work I guess um, but you know pretty decent task uh, not too bad and we are currently 1.5 mil XP off of 110 Slayer Let's see what more run has for us today uh, Celestial Dragons super boring but decent XP I think I might skip these though because I really don't like them uh, let's see what's on my block list. Yeah, I like that block list, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to cancel this one. I'm not a huge fan of uh, of Celestials after grinding them on my Iron Man for so long. Uh, okay, I'll definitely take Gemstone Dragons. I do need those, all of their souls. So hopefully we can manage to finally get our first one on this task. But we'll have to wait and see. Alright, so I kind of forgot to record, I guess, at the end of the Gemstone Dragons task here because we're just at the max field and heading to get a new task, so my bad on that, you guys. Um, but we are back to post-commentary for a bit here, and this time we managed to pick up some Greater Demons. So I did head to Zami God Wars for the majority of this task, but uh, after an hour or so of it, I decided to head... Uh, once I le uh, left, I decided to finish the rest of the task off at the regular Greater Demons. Uh, mainly because I didn't feel like going back and getting KC, but I also did still need their soul for the Slayer Codex, which I managed to pick up. Pretty sure it would end up being quite common, obviously, considering they're not like a high-leveled Slayer monster or anything, but it was nice to get that out of the way and into our Ushabti that we can add to the chest later on. But now we're going to head back to Morvan and see what he has in store for us next up. And it actually gives us the choice of Tormented Demons or Adamant Dragons. And I just recently did Tormented Demons, and I don't like Adamant Dragons either. I don't feel like spending a ticket on them. So I go ahead and skip this task selection here and get a new one. And he gives me Stalker Creatures and Greater Demons. So I'm just going to skip the Stalker Creatures because uh, I need both of the souls from them. And I actually ran out of Ushabti, so I bought five more at this point. But these, these these tasks really suck. These things have a lot of health and they're really slow to kill. And they just don't give the greatest XP in the world at all. Like I have my Scrimshaw of Sacrifice going and I only got 600 XP for that thing. So these things really, really suck. And they don't have a very good loot either. So they are quite bad uh, of a task. And I only really do them because I want to get their souls. But I still haven't managed to get a soul from the Soul Gazers or the Seekers yet. So it is pretty depressing because... I really don't like doing these tasks, but either way, uh, we are heading back to get another task, and it's more gemstone dragons, one of my favorite tasks at this point, and I do something a bit stupid here, I think. Yeah, I, 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 I think I, I accidentally extended it and preferred it, which do, is redundant, but either way, I'm going to head off to this, and the rest of the clips are live commentary, so I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Alright guys, we are just about to finish up the Gemstone Dragons task that we received in the uh, last clip. The um, the thing I've been doing a lot, especially in the last clip and this clip as well, um, I don't know if I mentioned it while I was talking over the last clip, but I have been using the Scrimshaw of Sacrifice quite a lot, and it's actually really useful. It gives you 50% extra Slayer and combat experience per kill, but you lose your drops. So for things like Gemstone Dragons and those Stalker creatures, it's really useful because it, they don't really drop anything good, and I don't tend to pick up their drops anyway. You can also cheese it by unequipping the Scrimshaw after you kill it, and you'll still get the XP from Slayer, but you won't get the combat XP uh, bonus, but you will get the drop. So it's kind of like a, you know, a trade-off if you do that, but these are really useful, and I am going to be using them a lot 
for monsters like this where I wouldn't even really be picking up the items. I mean, I could pick up and yak back all these bones, but it's just a pain, honestly, and not worth the effort in the end. Uh, I'd rather just get the task done much quicker. I still don't have a soul from here. I don't have any of the gemstone dragon souls. Um, but I'm probably going to start killing the Hydrix ones now regardless um, and try and get their soul first because they give way more XP and they only have 20k more health so I'd much rather do them but either way let's go ahead and see what more run has in store for us for our next task and we get some living wyverns whose soul I do have already um, but I don't really mind doing them and it's only 47 so I am just going to go ahead and do these things really quick. Um, they also might actually be a good candidate for the Scrimshaw. I'll have to look up their drop table, but yeah. Pretty close now to 110 Slayer, which is pretty nice. 560k off of that. Okay, so just about to finish up this Wyvern's task. Uh, these are very fast to kill, so it is a pretty short task. Although you do get hit kind of a lot from these guys. Um, I do enjoy doing them because they do give quite a decent amount of XP and like I said you can kill them really fast if you're using melee. Uh, it's good to use melee because you want to be MD of them so they don't deal quite as much damage. Uh, let's see if we can get some cheeky drop from the uh, last kill here. Oh, That one didn't actually give me a drop when I did the cheese method. Not sure. Oh I think the elite slayer monsters drop their loot right when you kill them. So it doesn't work for those. but. Doesn't really matter. I just uh, I was just keeping the scrim equipped the whole time, anyways. But yeah, I mean I'm already 400k off now. I, I'm not sure how much I was off in the last clip, but it is. Uh, you can see how good XP those are. Those probably took me about 10 minutes to do all those, 10 or 12 minutes. So pretty easy. Uh, and we get some Acheron mammoths, and I don't think yeah I don't have their soul, uh, and I do enjoy doing them either way, so, you know, that's not too bad. I'm going to go do some Akron Mammoths. Hopefully we can get their soul uh, this time around, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright guys, so we are about to finish up Acheron Mammoths here, and these things are so good for XP. I really just couldn't resist using the Sacrifice Scrimshaw on these as well. They do of course drop the Tusks every kill if you want, and I think those are pretty decent, but I'm honestly just in this for the XP for the most part. Like, I won't pass up like massive, or like, I guess it's not massive, but like really good money tasks like rune dragons or something like I wouldn't bring these to that but I mean stuff like this it's just like I get an extra 2000 XP per kill on these things in Slayer because I have this scrimshaw with me so it's definitely worth it for me at least um, just because of the insane amounts of XP like every single one of these is 6.4k XP with 2k extra XP from having the Scrimshaw so yeah definitely going to be utilizing that and I did this whole task in like maybe 25 minutes to a half hour and I am now only 60k off 110 Slayer so these things are absolutely ridiculous for XP and they are super easy to kill and fast don't really need food or anything so I really enjoy that task uh, I really should put it on my prefer list I, I keep forgetting to do that and then I realize how good it is after I go back and I think I should do it again but we're gonna go ahead and take Dagonoths uh, Lava Strike Worms just suck like I don't want to go in the wild and I already have their soul so I'll go ahead and do some DKs you know continue working towards getting those two or three rather pets for my Collection King series should be pretty fun um, let's see what we're at just to give it an idea uh, we're currently at 1415 KC so I believe that means we will get the first threshold for our boss pets during this task. Uh, let me just quickly check their drop rates just to make sure, just to see. Yeah, they do have a threshold of 1500, so that will put the drop rate of all the pets down to a 1 in 1250 chance, which is still pretty high, but it'll be nice to get that. And uh, yeah, they're pretty decent XP. I'm not going to be using the Scrimshaw at these guys though, so yeah. Uh, hopefully we can get at least one of the pets uh, before too long, but I'll see you guys for the end of this Dagonoth King's task. Alright guys, oh, 
<laughs> I was pulling up my recorder. I didn't even realize we just got to dehatch it. Uh, that's actually the first drop I've gotten from this uh, task so far. Oh, and then I just get back to back with an archer's ring, even though those are pretty much worthless. But it's kind of funny. <laughs> Pulling up that recorder brings me some good luck, I guess, but um, we are about to get our Slayer level here, so I wanted to record it. I'm 4K off of 110, uh, so pretty sweet. Definitely still really far off of the, uh, you know, the 120, but it is, um, it is nice to be hitting a new level here. I'm not sure if we unlock anything or not, but uh, I will check, of course, when we do get the level. Um, but, yeah, things are only going to get harder from here on out, so... Uh, I'm prepared though. Uh, I'm actually been enjoying doing the Slayer for uh, for now, uh, which has been pretty nice. I wasn't really enjoying it before. Um, I was just kind of going for it, but since I've been doing so much dungeoneering and I, I feel like I, I'm at 117, I really feel like I can get that 120. That's really been giving me the motivation to come out and do Slayer because I do enjoy Slayer, but I was always just sort of thinking like I I'm never going to get comp unless I get 120 dunge, which is something I hate to do. Uh, and that's one of the things that I was pretty much stopping me from getting comp on my old account because I never got um, the dunge level. But we just hit 110 Slayer. I guess that's one of the achievements in the achievement system, which is kind of random. But it didn't look like I unlocked anything, and I did not. Um, but next level I should unlock something. Uh, yeah, some new Soul Devourers. Every two levels until the end is pretty much a new thing. Every odd level. So we get a new Soul Devourer every odd level except for 115. Which, well, I guess it's still a new Soul Devourer, technically, because it is the Magister, but... Yeah, that is uh, pretty sweet, and I will see you guys for the end of this task, which will be uh, the next clip. Alright guys, so that is the end of another Road to 120 Slayer episode number 11 here. I hope you all did enjoy it. We managed to hit the 110 Slayer mark right there at the end, so pretty happy with that. And i uh, going to continue on this grind for 120 been focusing on it quite a bit more recently just because I did quite a bit of dungeoneering and I'm now 117 dunge so I'm doing my dailies for dunge and I'll probably be 120 in that before too long meaning Slayer will pretty much be my last big requirement for comp cape and I really want to get it done um, as fast as possible my goal at this point is to have comp cape before the end of this year 2018 and I think I can definitely easily manage to do that um, Hopefully I get lucky with my trio mission and my merchant has the livid plant more often than not. But either way, I think I'll be able to get it regardless. So looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to seeing how much nice Slayer loot we accrue on this road. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video, you guys. I will see you next time, uh, most likely on Monday for our video talking about the update. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.